available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Grandma. Hello there. Okay, let me get in focus. Look at the camera here. I'll sit on here. Great. Good. Ready? Make it count this time. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Take one. <laughs> we'll start with number one. Brinsmere. 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 Brinsmere
to never pay over 59 cents for a Diet Coke. To marry my future wife, Danny. Just sitting and watching her sing the Lord bless you and keep you with our entire family. Her playing the piano, singing songs, orchestrating harmonies. I have really good memories of grandma coming to my school at Golden Meir and coming for grandparents day. Um, I just felt like it was a really great thing to have her there and show her my school. It's, it's something that I remember very fondly. Our annual uh, sleepovers with the cousins, our group of cousins. And for one year I got my wisdom teeth taken out about four days before the sleepover. I remember hoping I'd be able to gut it out at Old Country Buffet and I couldn't and it was really disappointing. Next question. Every year we celebrate our birthdays together, so blowing out the candles and combining our ages. We would um, hang out in the yard and decorate our bikes or wagons or whatever it was we had that year for the 4th of July parade. If I were to decorate a bike today, I can't imagine that I would do justice to the ones we had when we were, when we were kids. The sleepovers at our house, being in the cake contest together, making sweet rolls every year. Baking cookies with Trish and Sarah. When I babysat Maureen's cat, I was right next door to Grandma for about a week and I had to sleep at Maureen. Every morning Grandma would be there with breakfast for me and Grandma would wait up for me at night and call me if I was out past 11 p.m. Getting to organize Grandma's pantry was this great pleasure and huge joy um, and I would just have such a good time going down there and organizing all of the cans. At one point we came across some dog biscuits, and I'm guessing it was Michelle and Steven who were there with me, um, and we were there with Grandma, and um, she told us we could try it, and I think someone did try them. Was it Steven? Maybe, I'm not sure. Steven, would you like a dog bone to eat? It's good for your teeth. It uh, says it right on the box. And, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? You gotta eat the thing. It's, it's coming from your grandma, you gotta eat it. Uh, yeah, not so much. Done with the dog bones. Well, actually it wasn't to me, but um, the first time grandma met Mike, we had dinner at her house. She had just gotten a call from our pet asking for money. She was kind of just complaining about how she hates those calls and they call at night. And little did she know that that was Mike's job. The next question to him was, so what do you do? <laughs> and it was just this really uncomfortable silence. Ed. Harold? Howie? Uh, such an army, Ralph or Rick? Rick. Ralph? Ralph. I usually go out to eat somewhere. I bought candy with it for trick-or-treaters, because there are trick-or-treaters at the dorm. Gummy worms? I bought candy. Food or beer? I always fun to on food. No, I might have also gone to booze every once in a while, but mostly dinner. Inappropriate. I did not get $10 for Halloween! <laughs> Grapefruit? Um, a banana? Half a banana. <laughs> Uh, steel cut oatmeal. Great nuts. Cheerio. Coffee and English muffin. She always eats uh, eggs. 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 I didn't know she ate breakfast. She loves to sit on that couch on the back of that chair. No matter who's sitting there, she will always be sitting on the top looking out the window. <laughs> She's a very slow walker, Mitzi. It takes forever to get just around one block. Well, Grandma thinks that I don't like Mitzi, but I, I love that golden retriever so much. And I don't understand where she gets that from. Mitzi has a ton of personality. The best story, Mitzi story we have, is kind of cruel, is it was a sleepover with myself, Danny, Tommy, and Steven. When I would lie down, Mitzi would go and bite my hair. And all the cousins thought, hey, that's pretty funny. Steven was annoying all of us. Eventually they held me down and Mitzi would bite my hair until I eventually screamed. Very good 10, 20 seconds. 
<laughs> That's my favorite Mitzi story. She really helped us out there. I love Mitzi. A Sunday, but she brings her own hot fudge. A diet coke. A diet coke. Probably a diet of diet coke. It's a diet coke. Diet coke. Diet coke. Diet coke. Small. Senior Diet Coke. Senior Diet Coke. Oh, it's the Senior Diet Coke. Oh, I, she loves the Senior Diet Coke with no ice. Small coffee. Ash <laughs> bro. <laughs> Is that right? Are you guys laughing? Oh, small, like pancakes? <laughs> oh, I want a Coke. Diet Coke. <laughs> Seniors. Citizen side. <laughs> Either Pies or St. Vincent. St. Vincent. Pies? Ooh. I think she went to DSHA. DSHA. Holy Angels. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I hope it was a good one. She would give me the look when um, she felt it was time that Tony and I have babies. When I would refrost her sweet rolls, because she was a little too chintzy on the frosting. When I would respond to her question, and the question was, uh, are you still dating Rachel? I don't know, sometimes she doesn't like my outfit. When I was wearing inappropriate clothing <laughs> to certain holiday parties. When I was not saying tenor, and the Lord bless you, keep you. I don't know the tenor part. I distinctly remember Grandma giving me the look when we were playing Royal Rummy at one of the sleepovers. Uh, I had a pretty good poker hand, Rose and Grandma decided to raise, I think, probably half a penny, and then I re-raised her probably yeah, five cents. Just... She got really upset at me for bullying her. Did so, you have the winning hand? I definitely had the winning hand. <laughs> probably. I've broken a lot of antiques. I think I did, and I think it was something Ellen made. I think it was the bust, I think. And it was really uncomfortable, because I think everyone was really mad. Her bed. The bed. One time, Trish and I were sleeping in it, and jumping on it, maybe. I don't know, but she got really mad. I still feel bad. I'm pretty sure we all probably broke that bed upstairs a few times. Think. 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 Actually, it's, we found out it's Pink and Bugle. So we used to think we were Irish, but however, when she did the research, we're actually Dutch, and it's Pink and Bugle, and it got shortened to Pink once we crossed over. Finch? No, 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 <laughs> I can't do this! John. Totally. <laughs> I guess my mom, but but <laughs> we'll go with my mom, the youngest. Her what? Her favorite child, Diane. Well, it's Diane. Oh, it's gotta be Diane Newton. <laughs> Based upon my experience, it's gotta be John. I'm sorry, Diane. I'm sorry, mother. Uh, you're not grandma's favorite child. You might have been for a little while, but as soon as John came out, it was over. I'm not gonna answer that. She has uh, a special ability to bring, to package family and uh, joy together, and, and that, that is special. Um, that's one of the things I think of most when I think about Grandma, is bringing everyone together, and I just feel such love and such joy. And yeah, I think it all kind of starts with Grandma. Love you. I love you, Grandma. Peanut gallery. <laughs> 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 <laughs>